Hey guys, welcome to lesson 4 of how to make iPhone apps with no programming experience. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the anatomy of an iPhone app. We're going to go over the major components that all iPhone apps have in common. So before we dive into Xcode and show you how the app project represents those different components, we're going to go over the different parts of an iPhone app first. The first component is the view, and this is what the user sees and interacts with on their phone. The second component is the view controller, and the view controller manages the view. We're going to go into what that means a little later in this lesson. The third component is the model, and the model manages the data for your app. Okay, so how do these three components work together to form a functioning app? Well, the view controller sits in between the model and the view and manages the communication between the two. So for example, the view controller may ask the model for some data, for example, a list of contacts, and then the view controller will pass that data to the view to render it to the user. Now similarly, if the user interacts with the view and let's say deletes a contact, then the view controller gets that interaction or gets that message and passes it to the model to tell it to remove a contact because the model manages the data. So as you can see, each component has its own set of responsibilities and a role within the app, and they must work together to form a functioning app. Now this division of labor and the way that the communication happens between each component is a well-known design pattern in programming called Model View Controller Pattern, or MVC for short. And a design pattern is simply a best practice pattern or way to solve a common problem. iOS development makes use of this design pattern heavily to structure the way that apps are built. By following this design pattern, it's easier to maintain and change the code in the future if necessary. Because each component has a well-defined and contained set of responsibilities, it's easy to swap in and out the components in the future if you need to make an update. And it also helps with troubleshooting your code. If you have a bug in your code, depending on what sort of bug it is, if it's a display issue or a data issue, you'd know where to look. Instead of if all of the responsibilities were merged or melded together, you would have to look at the overall project instead of just a single component. In the next lesson, when we build our first app, I'll point out to you where these different components exist in the app project. 